Green Machine. Danny Green joins us live. This is The Project. Time now for our next guest. For someone who makes a living knocking people out, boxer Danny Green is a really nice guy, a fair competitor, a loving dad, and yep, winner of a bravery award. Kind of makes you forget he does this for a living. Yeah. That's got to hurt. Since his first knockout in 1992, the Green Machine has earned the world champion title three times, along the way gaining fans worldwide with his talent and charisma. The former resulting in 31 wins from 36 fights, and the latter making Danny a much-loved public figure who's as good with his words... This one's for all of you! ...as he is with his fists. Please welcome Danny Green! today, not your last fight, but your last fight in your hometown of Perth. Is it going to be an emotional one? Hopefully emotional for the right reasons, Carrie. Yeah, it's, uh, it's always emotional when you fight at home. You know, it's always a, a really uplifting experience. Sounds like a cliche, but it's, it's, a, it's an amazing atmosphere at Challenge Stadium. And I mean, this potentially could be my last fight ever. So I'm just obviously focusing in on being really? successful. You won't give up. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you might be my next opponent. Well, yeah. <laughs> And we are going to get to that. You're in good shape. You nearly broke my hand when you just shook it when you got up here, Danny. Oh, I need to ask this question. You're playing... Or you're playing... You're fighting the Bronx Bomber. You are the Green Machine. Who comes up with the names? <laughs> I think I stole my brother's nickname. He was... Uh, he played footy when he was younger and his mates all used to call him the Green Machine. So then it kind of made sense. So I took it off him. So and he didn't question my... that, I'm sure. Uh, oh, he used to give me a, he'd give me a pretty good foggy when I used, have a, I used to have a bike called the Green Machine, but that's another story. What <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Danny, look, can you just explain this bit for us? You know when you're before a fight and you're all in each other's faces, like, oh, I'm such a great big meanie, I'm really going to hurt you. <laughs> What's really going through your head? Uh, to be honest, I'm not trying to do anything other than just... I'm, I'm staring at the bloke and I'm just giving him nothing but coldness. I'm not giving him any emotion. I don't want him to think I'm angry. I'm trying to scare him. I'm not trying to scare the guy. But you seem like such a sweetie. Well, <laughs> I'm not trying to scare him. And I know he's, if he's trying to scare me, it's silly, because we're about the next day we're going to try and have knock you, each other out. So. Have you ever got the giggles while doing it? <laughs> <laughs> i tell you, one guy, Jason Delisle, he's a friend of mine. I fought him three times. And when we waited, we, we had the stare off before we touched gloves, before the fight. So the stadium's full. It's crazy. It's going mad. And he is a crazy guy. He's a really good fella, tough as nails. Third time we fought. Anyway, and I, and I clo broke his nose, closed both eyes. He needed ten stables to fix oh. his head. <laughs> busted his ribs. Three nights later, we're out in the turps together. That's the kind of guy he is. He's a ripper. Anyway, we're having a stare down. And we know we're, we're in for a bit of pain. We're going to try and hurt each other. We're trying to do our job and win the fight. And he's staring at me and he's giving me the cross side like this. <laughs> so make me laugh. It's classic. <laughs> Will you fight, Mundine, again? It's not up to me. Look, uh, it's, it's Carrie, this, been, this question's been asked so many times. I look at who I've fought, look at where I've gone in my career, and I'm very proud. I can look myself in the mirror and I can call myself a real fighter. I've taken on some of the best fighters in the world and I've beaten some of the best fighters in the world. I've beaten a future Hall of Famer in Roy Jones. I lost to a future Hall of Famer as well and I just lost to the current two-time world champion. But I was that close to pulling off a victory. I've taken titles from world champions. I've fought them in their backyard. I've fought them in America, in Germany, in Montreal. And I've also fought them here in Australia. But so if you, got, look the myself if you got the call and he said, I want to fight you, you'd do it. He don't want to fight me. He knows he's going to get... He, he fought me as a ghost. <laughs> Six years ago, and he fought me as a ghost, and that's it. I don't dislike the guy, but he's not a real fighter. I want to ask about your family. I could never be married to you. I mean, you, well, not, on, I mean, you sound on. like a lovely guy, but for your wife, how do, does she get nervous every time you go out there and, and fight your kids and stuff? Uh, she's probably questioning being married to me too. Most <laughs> <of the time>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, no. it is what it is. It's your job. job. It's your job, isn't it? But she's is that part of the that. reason that you like? Put down the gloves and... It's tough. Yeah, yeah. I'm away from my... You know, I'm, I'm a pretty hands-on dad as well, so I'm away from my kids uh, a lot too. So when I'm away, I'm away. And it's really hard. I mean, obviously I'm away, but, yeah, when I'm home, I'm, I'm picking them up from school yeah. and taking them to school and can watch them play sport and do all the kind of things that most dads do. But I'm away a lot. I've got to sacrifice a lot, and they miss mm -hmm. out a lot as well. But it is what it is. It is my job, and it's a tough gig, but it's not forever. And they understand this is what's, you know, giving them a house to live in and, and I can send them to school yeah. and put bread and, yeah. bread and butter on the Fair table. Enough. Well, Dave's been banging on all day about how... <laughs> You both got into a, a proper fight yesterday. I'm finding it very me. hard to believe. No, you, lured me into the, you lured me into the ring. I had no idea what was going to go on. We've got some vision here. Right? <laughs> now, you didn't have to do that. This is serious, people. I thought 
we're just going to have a bit of an interview. Watch this. Don't worry about that. Right. <laughs> have a look. He's saying punch him in the head, and I was punching him as hard as I could. <laughs> he was laughing at me. But you started going hard, man, all right? And we're going to come to this here. And <laughs> no, that was bad, but it gets worse. This, there's one coming up here, and this is it here. This hurts. <laughs> I thought I was unconscious. <laughs> and you drew blood, didn't you? You were bleeding, mate, but uh, H, H, my trainer, Angel, he, go, he looked at me and he gives me a look, we know each other all, he goes, I think you've asked him. <laughs> not one single of Dave's punches even hurt in a little bit, I've got to give it to you, Husey, you're a ripper, mate, and I was trying so hard not to laugh, but I can't hear you, mate, you're too nice, I got you're too funny. Hit me! <laughs> Danny's big fight is on July 25th. You can head to projecttv.com.au for all the details. Please thank Danny Green. <laughs> Thanks, guys. We'll get a few ads. We'll be back in a moment. We've got one also from, uh, from our website from Greg, who says that Danny Green is an inspiration to all Australians who have wanted to hit Husey in the mouth. <laughs> you know what? Honey, you do have a very punchable face. Oh. I'm going to take that from Angelie. I think... She's flirting with me. Aren't you? It's so cute, you just want to hit it. That's enough.